Hey, what's up, everybody? Agamonster today, and today we're gonna be talking about the new changes that just happened to these two talents, which actually used to be uh, considered one of the worst talents in the game. Um, this talent or these talents were just not really good and were automatic burns. What made it worse is that if you picked one of them, they would lead you to the other, and no one really wanted them at the time, except like the very few people who wanted to make that like gimmick build of having no rags. We're talking about padded armor and steel scales today. Now, initially, my idea to get it buffed was just to suggest that it got monster armor because someone was talking about unpopular suggestions and I put it on my little list however our major like yo i'm gonna just give it physical and blunt damage and i was like yo that's kind of crazy and so what ended up happening was is that he gave uh padded armor three percent blunt and steel scales three percent slash so if you have both of them that's three percent physical uh armor at any time at any time you don't have to be at zero durability if you have armor at all you just get a free three percent physical resistance like that's that's so free so i guess an easy way to think about it is like imagine exoskeleton but 30 percent more effective that's literally it you're just getting a like a 30 percent effective exo you're adding like an extra 30 percent buff to your exoskeleton if you have that right um you don't even need exo to use this by the way you can just have it if you don't have exo but a lot of people are probably gonna be running this and exo because it's now one of the only like few talents that actually give you some sort of resistance from the talent i think it's only exo on these two yeah so this is actually kind of insane um of course a lot of people are like okay agamatsu what's the actual like effectiveness of this at most it is a common card it's gonna buy you like maybe one extra hit i did the damage calculations it's gonna probably only really give you like one hit from some things like if i'm fighting like a great sword and i have like you know more health than usual like 450 maybe 500 health it's gonna buy me one extra hit it's more effective the more health you have because you take more hits that means the more hits you can actually uh, reduce the damage from but yeah uh it's really uh super effective if you have a lot of health um that's why this is the new meta talents in my opinion so um if you already didn't really like have a lot of talents to pick from you know add these two to your list they're literally just free damage resistance why not anyway that's all i want to say because i saw no one talking about this i'll see you guys later peace